Now back time. I think this is a review item. We'll find out what that is after. Let's get stuck into it. As always, there'll be links down below for things if I can give you a link. So make sure you check those out down below in the description. These are just some um, 2.1mm female sockets, chassis socket things. I've shown these multiple times in the past. Really handy for little projects. Drill a little hole in the side of a plastic box, shove one of these in, you've got a powder input. Really convenient, easy to use, and cheap. Surge protective device. Ah, right, okay. So this is apparently for... You put an Ethernet cable and it's supposed to help protect against lightning surges and voltage surges on Ethernets. Um, in theory, it's open up. Oh, it's got star bolts on it. Hmm. It's open up, let's have a look inside it, see what's actually inside it. Could be interesting. Found a right screwdriver, thanks to my iFixit set, which they sent me to review many, t I don't know, a couple of years ago now. Maybe even more than that. Contacted them and said, hey, do you want to send me something to review? And they did. They sent me a couple of sets, different screwdriver sets, and it's been extremely handy. If you get the chance to get an iFixit set, I said, you should do. Is that enough? Ish. Here we go. It's one half. It actually has lightning suppressors in it. Look at that, gas discharge and some diodes. I'm actually surprised it's got circuitry in it. It's like just an empty box. <laughs> wow, it actually does it. That's impressive. I'm not sure what the diodes are doing. I guess it's just clamping across. Trying to follow the traces up. Yeah. So I think it's direct connections one to the other with this circuitry across it to snub any surges. Fine. Looks right to me. Well that's diodes. One in something, four double ones is it, maybe? Nothing too special about them. They're probably clamping in some way. Oh. That'd be a link down below for this thing. Maybe you want it if you've got an external Ethernet cable. Could be quite important. And there's a sheet that came with it, I suppose we should look at this too, shouldn't we? I'm not going to read it to you. Have a look at yourself. Operating voltage, 5 volts. Does it actually have an operating voltage? Hmm. There you go. Excellent. People are not here shot me. Got in here. Ah, oh, okay, got Ethernet cable. What's that? 20 centimeters. Gigabit Ethernet. Another one. What are these? Another one? Yep, three so three of those. I think these are like that last thing, only different. Well, it might just be joiners, I'm not quite sure. What does it claim? Lightning surge protector. Hmm, well, there's no external connection, so it doesn't have a ground point. So that's the first thing. Let's see if we can get this thing open, shall we? And get a spudger in here and force it open. What's actually inside? Well, that's interesting. It's got a bunch of markings for diodes. But it looks especially like capacitors. Soldering's not the best either. Soldering's definitely a bit on the dodgy side. Look at that. Hmm. Wow. 
as far as you making contact. And this looks like capacitors, not diodes. Let's test one. Got a Shannon tweezer here, auto mode. Stick across something, see what we get. Nothing. Nothing. Doesn't murder us at anything. So maybe these are some kind of TVS diode after all. They just look like capacitors. That's interesting. Hmm. So I think, apart from the bad soldering, um, maybe it's okay, but it's only going between lines. It may be enough, but I thought it would probably need to have an earth point. I think so, anyway. Oh, I'll leave that open because that needs three soldering. In fact, the other one will too. Now we've got the box, which appears to be a review item. I think it is, anyway, I could be wrong. But I'm going to go with that theory for now until I can prove otherwise. Yes, it's a review item. Okay. What did I get? So this is from Fenersi. So thanks a lot for Fenersi sending this to me. So a little power supply unit. Very nice. So this is... It's got a built-in screen and stuff as well. Great. And what's in here? Got a USB-C cable. And a power brick. Yeah, power brick. Um, hmm. It's got a European connector on it. And it's got these fold-out prongs for the US. Nice design. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, neither of those are useful for me. Apart from using a, um, a death adapter to power it. But it's 100 watts. It feels really heavy too. It actually feels like a reasonable quality one. Um, unless it's got a block of steel inside it. USB-C ports and a USB-A. Output is rated at 3 amps, 12 volts, for example. Yeah, okay. I'll go read that. It's a bit small. All right, so thanks a lot for noticing you've seen that to me. That will be a review item in the near future. Um, here's some information about it. Oh, shiny. I'm not going to open it just yet, but make sure you watch out for this. It's DPS 150. Do 5 volts to 12, 32 volts up to 5 amps. 150 watts. So this is a good little portable power supply. Obviously you just plug in a USB-C, but it gives you you know, adjustable power supply, this little box. This is very similar in some ways to the Miniware unit I've got as well, which I did a video on, which is really popular. That went really well, that video. That was very popular. Maybe because it let out the magic smoke while I was testing it, and then fixed it. And then it carried, it carried on working again. So that was a good one. But... Uh, yeah, this is like their answer to the miniware, except this was all in one. The miniware had a separate screen. So, yeah, cool. That'd be a good one to look at. So, other videos to watch down below if you're interested in other stuff. I've mailed back videos, repairs, reviews, whatever it may be. I've been doing a lot of stuff for Fenersi recently. They've been sending me a few things, so I've got a bit of a history now with Fenersi, and we'll see how, that, how long that continues in the future. Hopefully it continues for some time yet, and I can keep reviewing their various products will be good because they seem to be quite popular. Um, right, subscribe over here if you're not subscribed, well about there somewhere, and Patreon support link about there somewhere if you want to help support the channel. If you want to buy things from our bag, maybe some more of these which actually work, I, I, I don't know, maybe these might, these might work perfectly fine once I've soldered the pins on properly. Catch you later.